I've had in the last three weeks, uh, well, in the last two weeks, over 250 orders just in two weeks. Wow, and, and that's just and, from that? And for over 450 orders in the Dude. last 30 days. Look at all the people. I'm sorry, but yeah. look at all the freaking people down yeah, it's here. It's a holiday weekend in, in Huntington. You were, this is a good call to drive down yeah. here. Yeah. Sock Harbor kills me, by the way. I but know. But, dude, that's amazing that you sold that many. Yeah. It's crazy. Hey, hey, you guys, we're live. We're rolling through uh, downtown. Got Robert. Robert just sold a bunch more freaking air fresheners. That's awesome. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people down here, man. This is cool. This is really cool. Gotta love it. Oh, they got all this. No, they got it's just restaurants, right? Yeah, they don't have any shops set up today. Oh, I'll let this Toyota go. Let this guy go with the man purse. That is a very attractive purse. I believe that's a fanny pack actually being used as a shoulder as a bag. Purse. As a purse. Yes. Here's the, here's the uh, tea bucket. Yes. I stopped first. Yeah, those are, see, that's how I got caught that one night when I came around the corner because the two oh. gentlemen were, were walking down the sidewalk like that oh, and they were in the dark shit. and also they were the flashlights like ding ding and I'm like, was oh. it going this way? I was going, well, no, it's coming oh. over by, uh, by off the parking of, garage. Yeah, yeah, by the parking garage. So it was dark oh, okay. and they were there where it was all where they had all the, you know, like all the, the um, you know, the outdoor dining and stuff and it was just dark, everything was shut down and they were in the dark standing there and also the flashlights just came on and went ding ding and I just went, oh man, I'm done. Look at all of the businesses that closed. Oh, it's there. all closed down there, dude. Yeah. All everything went out of the business. Even um, what's the waffle place on the corner? Um, oh, it did too. Yeah, it's gone. Wow. How does that place? Go? Well, well, I mean, just COVID, dude. Yeah. COVID has just just yeah, really you, tore up the restaurants. You, you can't, know, can't eat inside or outside for several months and and try to fade that tens of thousands of dollars a month of downtown Huntington rent. Yep. Well, I tell you, my ex, she tried to get me to open a restaurant for four years. She was on me. That was the other thing. Like we, yeah. I think we talked about that before. She was on me to open a restaurant. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I will not open a restaurant. Yeah, no. I won't do it. It's the most likely to fail business. Yeah. There's just no way. And I said, even if, even if, if I ran it with inventory and a parts company and, and made sure I, I scheduled and turned everything through, yeah, I like this car a lot. It's got yeah. a lot of goodness oh, going on. Did you on. see the, the intercooler for the Oh, twin yes, I did. In the front? Yes, I did. It had a Gretty. It had a nice yeah. big old Gretty intercooler in the front of it. Yeah, I like that G. That was cool. So, this is, yeah, Surf City Ale House is starting to pick up quite a bit, too. Uh, they went and had a bunch of people used to were hanging out. Some other people said, too, look at all the bikes, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Wade got on his on his Jixxer the other day Morgan for the first time. He got on his Jixxer on, on his Jixxer the other, first time the other day, and he was just like, man. He says it's so hard when you got when you're on that thing to not twist that throttle is the hardest thing in the world to do. He I'll says bet. it's so hard, you know, because you got so much power. Well, I've seen Wade do 220 on that bike. I've clocked him at Willow at 220 on that bike. The one in our garage. Wow. 220. Shit, he can ride. Oh, he can ride. He can ride. He's way out of practice now, and he's <laughs> and he's way. Yeah, this was part of the part of the takeover, and he's way overweight right now, unfortunately. So that's the other problem. He just doesn't have. He, he needs to. He just needs so to knock some weight down. He's in the two hundred club on two fucking wheels. Yeah, yeah, at Willow with me timing him. Yeah, and I've got pictures. I've, I've actually got video of him too. I got to go back through my old videos and find it, but I got video. And then when we went back out uh, a year later, he. Uh, hey, thank you, Eric. Yeah, we had fun today. We're still cruising, man. Um, Robert and I just rolled through downtown, and we're going to go by Stevens. Just say hi. We got cars out. Everybody's smiling and happy. Hot rod people are waving at each other. It was really good to see you, bro, and I appreciated the happy birthday wishes. That was nice. So, yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, Spanky. I wonder if Spanky's probably back. We're going by our Lake Park hangout here. Got a guy making the entry right in front of us. I'd love to buy this house. Oh, it's, who wouldn't? All these homes are just, it's I mean. like three and a half million. It's crazy when these used to sell for like, you know, 250, dollars $300,000 and we were just going, oh my God, we would never spend that kind of money on a house. 
You know, I yeah. swear to God, that's we're, what my parents and stuff were like. No way we would ever spend that kind of money. There's Lake Park, Dano Park. Oh, there's the uh, guards. <laughs> that's funny. All right, we're gonna shut her down.